Welcome back to Algo Trading Series using PineScript and TradingView from Market Secrets. In this episode, we are going to learn how to identify candle patterns using PineScript and TradingView. Before we get started, Market Secrets is proud to announce launch of Algo Traders program ATP where we will train people to create and deploy Algo Trading bots with end-to-end -end setup. If you are someone who is interested in learning algo trading, it will be a perfect place for you to start. I'll leave the link to the details of the ATP program in the description section of this video. And with that note, let's jump into today's session on how to identify candle patterns using PineScript. So we are going to learn how to detect basic candlestick patterns using PineScript. In this episode, we'll be solely focusing on engulfing candles for now. But the process involved in identifying them is similar for all other candle patterns such as pin bars, shooting stars, hammers, dojis and any other candle patterns. But before we get to scripting part, we need to understand the anatomy of the candles. There are four built-in pine script variables we have to work with in order to detect candle patterns. That is open price, close price, high price and low price. Using these four variables, we can determine if a candle meets the criteria to be called a certain pattern, such as an engulfing pattern. This example is a proper engulfing candle. This is because close of the green candle closes above the open price of the red candle. So close is above the open price of this particular candle. So there are other variations or other rules for the engulfing pattern as well. For example, some would say uh, the price should close above the high of this particular candle. I mean this close should be higher than this particular high price. And some people would say that market should open below the close price of the previous day and then close above. So you know this open price should be you know below this close price. Some people would even say it should be below this low price. So there are a lot of variations of uh, engulfing candle but for simple understanding we are going to take just one criteria which is open price of the previous day should be less than today's closing price. If that is the case we will consider it as an engulfing pattern. Generally engulfing pattern this bullish engulfing pattern indicates it is a sign of bullish strength. And the opposite is true for bearish engulfing pattern where you have a small green candle and you see a big red candle which closes below the open price of the previous day. So if it is a reverse of this particular thing, right, in such a cases it will be a bearish engulfing candle and it's a sign of potential bearish strength. Generally, you can use engulfing pattern for any entries. I mean to take it as a confirmation signal for most of the strategies that you can work with. You can combine it with any indicators, any market signals and any filters to produce high quality and high accuracy entry system. So this can work with almost any strategy. That's why engulfing pattern is very, very critical. So now back to scripting. We now know which variables we need to work with. That is open, close, high and low price to identify the engulfing pattern. So in case of bullish engulfing pattern, the completion candle must close above the higher price than the previous day's open price. So today's price should close above the previous day's open price. So let's code it in the Pine script. So I'm opening the editor. So version equal to 5. This is going to be a indicator. So let's give it a name engulf pattern pattern okay so now we need to identify whether there is a higher close so I'm creating a variable higher close so close today's close okay should be greater than or equal to open price of the previous day one indicates previous day okay so this variable will return true this particular assignment right it will return true only if the current candles closing price is greater than or equal to previous candles opening price as simple as that but in order to ensure that this is a proper engulfing we need to check the previous candle as well because previous candle must have closed in the opposite direction that is first candle should be red and the second candle should be green only then it is engulfing so in order to determine that we need to add one more additional line of code bullish engulfing equal to so close should be greater than or equal to 
open of one so this is the first condition that we have wrote and closing price of previous day should be less than open price of the previous day so this will ensure that the previous candle was red candle it's that simple and like i mentioned earlier you can definitely add few more steps that will dramatically improve the accuracy of this engulfing candle detection for example you can you know uh, instead of uh, closing price uh, sorry instead of opening price you can use uh, you know high price um, likewise right you can also add a condition that uh, you know uh, the open price should be lower than the uh, previous days low or previous days uh, closing price so those conditions if you want to add you can definitely add to improve the accuracy of these directions but for this example this script this one line script right even this is not required this one line script will do the trick for detecting the basic and for engulfing candles okay so if you want to make it uh, you know much more stringent you can definitely do that if you have any queries around that you can reach out to me and here uh, i have explained this earlier but i'm going to repeat it once again this close brackets or the square brackets right so it represents uh, you know arrays so which can be used to you know take previous day's candle so you know if you don't pass any value it will consider current uh, current candle and if you give any value it will go back to that particular candle so if you give one it will go one candle backwards if you give 30 it will give 30 candles backward and if you give 100 it will check the value 100 candles is backward so it's as simple as that so it's common uh, programming uh, that you have in any language so if you don't understand it uh, you know you can refer the previous episodes and just for your reference if you want uh, the closing to be above high you just have to you know give this line of code if you do this right uh, um, you know it will be considered on as engulfing if uh, the previous the current candle closes above the high of the previous candle okay so if candle closes above high of the previous candle only then engulfing will be considered if you want that kind of rules so you just have to change it like this okay so now that we have covered basic let's get into the hard code coding okay so i'm just going to copy this and create another uh, line and making it as bearish engulfing okay so for bearish engulfing closing price should be less than or equal to previous day's open price and the closing price of the previous day should be greater than uh, open price of the previous day so open price should be i mean the closing price should be greater than open price so this includes uh, the first candle is green and this uh, will check whether the closing price is less than open price which indicates second candle is red and closes below previous day's open price okay so this is for bearish engulfing and the earlier one was for bullish engulfing now you need to you know create a trading signal that's it so i'm going to create a trade signal equal to bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing so this signal will come well true that is either a bullish engulfing candle or a bearish engulfing candle as simple as that now you can use plot shape to plot the bearish engulfing and bullish engulfing and i'm adding color well to bearish color dot red and color equal to color dot green and you can add styles as well style equal to shape dot triangle up style equal to shape dot triangle down also i'm adding overlay as true to plot it on the existing chart so i'm just saving and adding it to the chart so now if you look at it actually i gave bearish engulfing in both the parameters so that is why you know it's plotting both at the same time so let me change this to bullish engulfing and let me remove it add it back again 
so yeah uh, this is what uh, uh, it looks like okay so if you look at uh, here right so if the candle itself is closing above the previous one for example here green candle is closing above the previous red one it is considering it as engulfing so it, it's not in a traditional way right so if you want to add such conditions you can do that so maybe you can add like add uh, previous days uh, um, close and today's uh, open right so yeah so today's open price so it is open price uh, you can get it from this keyword open price should be less than previous days close price right so close of previous day so likewise right for bearish engulfing today's opening price should be greater than closing price of previous day so i've added uh, you know additional condition to you know direct proper engulfing so let's add that to chart and see how it looks now so if you look at here right this is a proper engulfing and only for that we are getting signal likewise it's here for this one and all we we are not here getting any uh, uh, signals likewise here right so this is a proper engulfing so we are getting proper bearish engulfing signal so likewise right you can um, you know play around the script add additional conditions as well based on your requirement and like uh, like we thought in the earlier episodes right you can use the alert condition okay so alert condition so what are we learned right so if there is a trade signal right you can send out an alert okay so with the proper title so engulf recognition engulf spotted and maybe you can add a message as well new engulf spotted So this way you can even you know send out alerts whenever there is a, a new engulfing pattern that is being spotted and if you want you can add additional conditions or additional parameters to the strategy as well so with this we have come to end of today's episode if you have any queries comments or feedback about this episode leave it down in the comment section i'll be happy to address it also hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye